Why am I wearing sunglasses? You're very correct. I'm not Casey Neistat. I'm not sure that you've ever seen me wear sunglasses, but I'm wearing them for a purpose today, which I'll tell you about in a second. I had no intention of making a video about this, as a lot of things in my life, uh, whether they be private or health, I just don't put on YouTube. But those that did know about it seem to have a bit of a problem understanding it, so I thought I'd explain it. Okay, now the reveal. Just on 48 hours ago, I had something called SLT, which is Selective Light Therapy. It is laser eye surgery, but I'm not going to go into the mechanisms of it, although I'll probably pop up a couple of diagrams here and there. Most people, when they hear the word laser eye surgery, are thinking it's to do with correcting the vision. My vision is actually quite good. It's 2020, which is a baseline anyway. But for the last few years I've had uh, borderline glaucoma and more recently it's crossed the border into officially being glaucoma. So I have been on eye drops once a night uh, for a few years now. Which is why if I'm doing any acting or you know spending any time in public I will normally put some visine or something similar in to just take the redness out of the eyes. Now the treatment I had was this eye, which is my left eye. So I'm showing you how it looks at the moment, 48 hours later. And as you can see, it's still inflamed from the procedure without any eye drops to clear that up. My main concern was that for the last two days, my pupil was really, really constricted in the left eye. It seems to have settled down now, thankfully, because even at first, I noticed there was a slight pigment change or a more opaque look about the eye that had been lasered. And as I'd hoped, it seems to have settled down because I was getting quite paranoid. Because when I looked up information about the procedure, there were potential side effects that I wasn't made aware of. So I wasn't too happy if that was going to change, let's face it, my last redeeming feature. I'll put a link below to a, an ophthalmologist site, uh, there are many, but it should explain the procedure. I'm not going to go into the technicalities of it too much, but I'll just briefly tell you in layman's terms, because many people that I have told about it don't quite grasp it, and, and that's fair because most people think eye surgery is to correct your vision. My vision's actually quite good, it's 2020, which is a baseline anyway. I do use glasses for watching television, just to make it a bit sharper, and also, ideally, for long distances, but yeah, no, I can cope fine. Uh, also, if I was to read, I've just got a new pair of glasses, which makes it a little bit sharper. So it wasn't an issue of a sight problem per se, but it was the fact that I'd crossed the line into glaucoma, which is why I was on the eye drops. I didn't take any photographs or video there, except afterwards exterminate exterminate and a little bit before because that's just me and my sense of humor but i didn't actually have a phone on me and i had no intention of sharing this so the actual procedure does take only about five minutes but of course the whole total time was probably closer to two hours uh, I did seem to go from seven or eight different waiting areas as they put more drops in and check my eyes, etc, check the pressure. Anyway, as to the actual procedure, it doesn't hurt at all. Uh, it's what you'd probably say mildly uncomfortable, but thankfully because of the anaesthetic the ophthalmologist puts in your eyes, um, it's not too unbearable. Having said that, I probably wouldn't do it as a hobby. So just describing the actual treatment, um, as best I can in layman's terms, what they do, glaucoma is caused by pressure in the eye or excess pressure which damages the optic nerve and that can't ever be repaired, well not with current technology anyway. So that's why it's important to avoid getting to that stage of being worse than ever trying to repair it, which you can't in the case of glaucoma. So essentially 
what the eye drops normally do is help drain the fluid or excess fluid from the eyeball. Anyway, you can research this in possibly the link I put below. But what SLT laser therapy does is basically puncture, I think, 60 to 80 holes around half, I believe, of the iris, which then acts as a drain. And they don't even know for sure how it works, but it seems to work in, I think, 85% of the cases. So the actual procedure, you've been to an optometrist, I'm sure. If you haven't, you really should get your eyes checked every year or at no later every two years because if there's any problems it's far far easier to try and avoid those problems getting worse or rectify the problems even than have them get worse it's the old scenario as you know anyway I recently had a an eye check and it was suggested I go and see the specialist the ophthalmologist who I had seen a few years earlier which led to this procedure uh, being booked and I'm supposed to have the right eye done in about two months time so anyway as far as the actual laser procedure goes you go into the room and it has a machine not dissimilar to what you'd have your eyes checked with however it's a laser as his assistant showed me before the ophthalmologist came in to do the procedure it's like um, probably that high like a little cone shaped thing with a flat or maybe it's convex glass surface. Now here's, here's the part that will freak you out, although you don't really feel it. Um, the base of it's probably the size of a 10 cent coin. Um, I don't know in America what would it be, uh, a penny maybe? Anyway, what they do, and I haven't yet been game to look this up on YouTube, but what they do is insert, I was gonna say shove it in into your eye socket, but they insert that under your eyelid and whatever and that helps them direct the laser and they do rotate it slightly and that I guess helps with the angle of punching the little holes. There's no pain at all. Uh, you do feel a tiny little prick. You do feel a tiny little pin prick. I think I'll put that at the end of the video, the little outtake I just did. Um, but, it, okay, imagine a sharp pin the sensation of being pricked by that. Very, very minimal amount of that. Okay, but just when they fire the laser, you'd feel tiny, and it doesn't hurt. It's just that you know, you know, bang, they fired another hole, or whatever. It doesn't shoot into your pupil or your iris or optic nerve or anything like that. It merely acts as a drain. Okay, like I say, you can look up how it works, but I thought I'd point that out in this video just to let you know. Okay, so hopefully this is pretty well fixed now. I think the two eyes are pretty well equal now and the pupils, but, but definitely for the first 48 hours, this eye was far more constricted than the other as far as the pupil. Also, I must say that up until now, for the first day or so, it felt mildly like you've been punched in that eye. Uh, not too bad at all. But, and also, the reason for the glasses, and I notice it's improving even today, two days on, is the light sensitivity. You could feel, uh, I guess, the muscles or whatever, the nerves, as your iris constricts, which is very much how we invented photography and how we worked out how to balance light. Anyway, anyway, thanks for watching, and yeah, get your eyes checked out. Also, a word on sunglasses. Never, ever, ever buy cheap sunglasses for outside use. If you're indoors for whatever reason, yeah, that's probably okay. Um, I've pulled out a pair of my trusty old Ray-Ban Wayfarers because I knew many, many years ago you don't want the harmful rays of the sun going into your eyes for too long. Having said that, a lot of people don't realise your eyes also need a bit of sun. It's part of the whole balance of your body, I guess. But that's it from me now. Uh, if you enjoyed this or would like to see some of my health videos, I'll put a little link down there somewhere, which you won't be able to see if you're watching this on the TV set, by the way, to some of my health playlists. And up there, no, I'll do it up there. 
just to trick myself up in editing, is a little link if you'd like to subscribe, which I'd very much appreciate. Okay. Cheers. Uh, you do feel a tiny little prick, which is not uncommon to me. No. Which I have often felt in my life. No, that's not right either. Ha 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 ha!